everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Sarah and today I'm gonna show you all the Harry Potter things I bought in London So at the start of the year, I went to the UK and I stayed in London for a couple of days. Being a huge Harry Potter fan, of course I had to go to platform 9 and 3 quarters at King's Cross Station. So if you're a fan of Harry Potter, you'll know that platform 9 and 3 quarters is where the Hogwarts Express takes off to go to Hogwarts at the start of every school year. I was lucky enough to visit the platform 9 and 3 quarters shop at King's Cross London and I bought quite a bit of stuff. I also went to the house of Mina Lima on Greek Street where they sell items like prints, postcards, tote bags, and everything related to the design of Harry Potter. The last Harry Potter shop that I went to was the House of Spells which is on Charing Cross Road which is really close to the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Theatre which is the palace theatre I believe. I'm really excited about the items that I got and I'm really happy with them so I hope you enjoy watching this video. Now let's get started because I have a lot to get to. So this first item is actually a piece of clothing that I have been wanting for a while and it is the Gryffindor Quidditch sweater. So this is actually made of lamb's wool and it is by the company called Lockhaven and I mentioned in my previous video but they um, provided the jumpers, cardigans and scarves for the filming of Harry Potter. So this is like a Gryffindor red color and it has the gold stripe across the middle which kind of looks more like mustard which I quite like. There's also a crest on the left of the chest and it is actually quite different from the um, original logo. The colors are quite muted as compared to the normal one which is like bright red and yellow but I quite like this one a lot. It's very subtle and I can wear this outside. This is actually a size M. I got a size M because I want it to be a bit baggier than usual and it's actually very very long and I have to pull the sleeves up a tiny bit but otherwise it's very comfortable and perfect for me. This was £75. Sticking with the theme of Lockhaven, I actually got the official Gryffindor house scarf. I don't think this is the longer version because there's another version that's like I think twice the length of this, I'm not sure. This was £33 and it's exactly the same as the ones you see in the movie and the colour matches the Quidditch jumper perfectly. Yeah, I feel very Hogwartsy when I'm wearing this. I think I wore it like nearly every day when I was in Europe. <laughs> Another really nice thing about this scarf is you can actually wear it out and not look like you're a crazy Harry Potter fan because the colour is actually quite subtle, I guess. But if someone knew about Harry Potter then this would be very obviously Harry Potter. But yeah, I think to people who don't know that it's Harry Potter, it's pretty subtle and they probably wouldn't guess. It's very hot, I'm gonna take this off. Okay, on to the next item, and the next item is actually another scarf. I just ended up getting the Hufflepuff Lockhaven scarf because I really love Hufflepuff. I feel like they're underappreciated as a house and they have been bullied too much and we should protect them. Anyway, so I really like the color of Hufflepuff. Yellow is a really nice color and it is probably my second favorite color behind orange. I really like what Hufflepuff House stands for, which is why I don't mind spending £33 on this scarf, which I can actually wear out and be a fake Hufflepuff. It's simple enough like the Gryffindor one that it's not screaming Harry Potter, but fans will know and non-fans will not. I feel like a grandma. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah, what was that? Can't hear you. Hufflepuffs are the best, even though I'm Gryffindor. I confuse a lot of people when I say that. Okay, so the fourth item is this Gryffindor lanyard with a souvenir ticket. Um, this just looks like the Gryffindor house tie. And for me, lanyards are really useful because I can put my train ticket, which we call a Mikey here in Victoria, in here and then I can just like tap it and I don't have to like get my wallet out and hold up the line, which I hate when people do. But anyway, it also comes with a platform 9 and 3 quarters ticket which I'm gonna take out. I love paper replicas and this one is just really well done with the gold foiling and it looks like I could really go to Hogwarts with this. The material they use for the lanyard is like a silky kind of material. It's not the strongest material I don't think, but I mean for a lanyard that's fine because unless you yank it, it's not gonna break. So the lanyard and ticket are $5.95 and they come in all the house colours, so Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff and Slytherin. I will definitely be using this when I go to uni. As you probably already know, I'm a huge fan of collecting pins and I couldn't leave the store without getting at least one. To be honest, the pins at Platform 9 and 3 quarters were just okay. None of them caught my eye straight away, 
So I took my time and found this one which was the best looking one out of the bunch. I got this Hogwarts Express pin and it's just the front of the steam train and it has the number of the Hogwarts Express which is 5972. It's just a cute little pin to show that you've been to Platform 9 and 3 quarters and yeah. I'm excited to add this to my collection. With every attraction, there's always a photo opportunity. So at platform 9 and 3 quarters, you can actually take a picture of a trolley that's gone halfway through a wall and there's like a sign on top that says platform 9 and 3 quarters. It's not the actual platform 9 and 3 quarters because that was filmed in the actual train station where you like go on the train. So obviously it would be very annoying if Harry Potter fans kept going onto the train platforms to, you know, smack against walls. So they moved it to the corner of King's Cross where the shop is and let me tell you, the line gets freaking long. We went on like a weekday I think it was and it was, I think it was 6 or 7 p.m. And we tried to line up but the lady told us that the line was actually all the way outside. So they had like people queuing on the inside where we thought the line would end but then there was actually like a line outside to queue to get into the line inside if you know what I mean and yeah no I just gave up so on the second last day of the trip I think we were coming back from our daily activities and then we we're gonna go home via King's Cross so I thought maybe I'll just go have a look see if the line was short and there was literally no one in the line and it was like I think it was like 8 coming to 9 it was quite late I think it was about to close so yeah, I hopped in the line and got my picture. This is my picture. I look kind of dumb, but I really wanted to try the jumping pose. The scarf kind of didn't flick properly. It's okay. It's still a really cool picture. And yeah, I nearly went to Hogwarts, but then after this, I like face planted into the wall. If you don't want to do the jumping shot, you can actually just be a normal person and like look like you're pushing the trolley. And you can actually pick one of the couple ones that they have on the trolley and like pretend you're waving your wand as you go on the wall. So I was actually wearing my own scarf in this picture because mine was exactly the same as the one they were lending out. But if you don't have your own scarf, you can borrow one of the four house scarves. So any of the four houses and they're all the Lock Haven scarves. So yeah, they're very nice scarves and they'll like throw the scarves for you. So it looks like it's being blown by the wind as you're going through the platform. So this picture with the frame was £10, which is like a standard picture price at any attraction. So yeah, go pick yourself up one. So this next item I actually tried to get on the first day that I went to King's Cross and unfortunately the printer was broken down so they wouldn't they couldn't do it. I knew I'd be coming back so it was no big deal. And then on the last time I visited, I think I visited like three times but the last day I visited um, the printer was back up so I got to do my own Hogwarts acceptance letter comes in this protective case and then I'm gonna have to blur out my address I don't want people stalking me uh, it comes with the letter with your name and address on it or whatever name whatever address you want and then also the acceptance letter itself so this is the envelope and this is the letter and then um, it's just like in Professor McGonagall's green and that's so cool. There's also a seal that comes with it and I think you can actually peel this off and stick it on the letter if you want but I'm not going to do that because it looks nice as it is. This is my letter. I'm going to Hogwarts. So the front has my name, my address and then the back has the Hogwarts crest on it. And this is the letter itself. It has the Hogwarts crest on top, your details on that little area. There is just a little note from Professor McGonagall that you have been accepted into Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. This is so magical and it just makes me so happy because it feels like I'm finally gonna go to Hogwarts. So if you buy the picture and the personalized acceptance letter together then you get I think five pounds off this one which is originally 15 pounds so you get this for 10 and this for 10 so it's 20 pounds instead of 25 or you can get a wand which will be minus seven pound i think so i ended up getting the wand for seven pounds less the wand i got was my favorite character from fantastic beasts and it is Newt Scamander. So if you bought a Harry Potter or a Fantastic Beast one on its own, it would be £32. But if you buy it with the picture, then you get £7 off your wand. So it is £25 for the wand. Yes, is that correct? No. But yeah, 
and the wand is very nicely wrapped this is very foamy stuff this is really cool i really like the box actually and ta-da here is newt scamander's wand oh i'm gonna drop everything his wand is very simple and i really like the shape it's like a it goes like this it's like there's a little bit of gray blue or whatever color it is and it matches uh, newt's jacket very well and uh, this little bottom bit is darker brown and on the inside you can see like some shiny metallic paint which looks like the inside of a horn or something or like you know how oysters are like shiny on the inside it looks really cool and i really like it and i really like how there's like little nicks and like bumps on the side of the wand which shows that it's actually been used I really really like this one it's simple but with a hidden depth like Newt's character and yeah I think it's really nice Newt is like the best character he's so cute I love Eddie Redmayne so recently I've been trying to grow my earring collection and when I saw these I just couldn't pass them up they're like tiny time turner earrings the hourglass is a like two crystals instead of uh, actual hourglass I can't speak and the earrings are just like simple hook ones and I think they're really really cute and elegant they're not overly Harry Potter which is really nice because I can just wear them whenever I want I really love Hermione so I'm really glad that I can represent her by wearing these Ooh, shiny these earrings were $8.95 so we reached the final item from the platform nine and three quarter shop and it is this really really beautiful Mina Lima design um, tote bag of King's Cross there's the Hogwarts Express on one side and then there's like Harry's trunk and Ron's trunk and Pigwidgeon and uh, Hedwig and it's just really beautiful it has like a little clock tower British flags and it says platform nine and three quarters London King's Cross the material that they used is very sturdy I think yeah it's very sturdy and the straps are really long which I like because some bags some tote bags the straps are like tiny and you just can't fit it over your shoulder but this is a very strong and tough material for the handles and they are very long which I mentioned already and yeah I really like this well, this is exclusive to platform nine and three quarters you can't get it anywhere else and it is 15 pounds i decided to get it because i really like tote bags and i know that with uni i'll definitely be bringing this around a lot let's move on to the items from mina lima which is the design shop on greek street and yeah this one's very heavy and i think you'll see why in a second mira for mina and eduardo lima are the two designers that design nearly everything you see in the harry potter movies from the chocolate frog packaging the birdie bots every flavor bean packaging to everything in the weasley twins joke shop and all the textbooks so i was really excited to get these and they are the hogwarts collection the hogwarts library collection of all the notebooks and it includes advanced potions making the tales of beetle the bard hogwarts a history fantastic beasts and where to find them dark arts defense basics for beginners and a history of magic by bethilda bagshot these notebooks are really beautiful and they are all lined paper and they have like shiny metallic um, foiling on the edge of the pages and they are just really beautiful my favorite one is probably advanced potions making because it is just iconic and um, Half-Blood Prince is one of my favorite movies and yeah the cover design is just really nice I wish there were actually potions in here A History of Magic is also a really nice one because it kind of goes with the History of Magic um, hardcover book that I have and I'll find a way to display them together Dark Arts Defense Basics for Beginners is actually a really cool one as well it has cats on the front which are like kind of glossy and they subtly remind us of Umbridge and also McGonagall if you think about it and the pages are lined with red the next one is fantastic beasts and where to find them and this one is very beautiful it's black with like gold foiling design the edge is also gold and i will be putting this on my fantastic beast shelf this one is really pretty and this is hogwarts a history which hermione reads like 500 times and she brags that she's read it so she knows a lot of things about Hogwarts I really wish this was an actual book so I could learn all the things that Hermione did too This last one is actually a Tales of Beetle the Bard with original illustrations by Luxo Caruzos 
but it actually doesn't have anything on the inside. Just kidding, but yeah, this is the copy I think that Dumbledore gives to Hermione in his will, and it's got gold falling with the wizard on the front, who is probably Beetle the Bard, and it's just very pretty. So you can actually get the books individually, and I think they're at $12.95. So it's slightly cheaper to get them all together because if you calculate it, one book in the set would be $12.50 instead of $12.95 but it's just a little tiny tiny like saving so if you don't want all of them, you can just buy them on their own. What's next? So the next item that I got was the Weasley's Wizard Weezes postcard set. So there was actually this or the Daily Profit one. The Daily Profit one was really cool, it had a lot of like the designs of like actual news layouts but I decided to get this one because you hardly ever see Weasley's Wizard Weezer's stuff it's so hard to say so you actually get 20 postcards and they're all different designs and they are actually um whatchamacallit packaging and promotion for the Weasley's Wizard Weezer's suites so you have like um, George's compendium box of pyrotech pyrotech tricks you get dung bombs you get the skiving snack box which is iconic this looks like a flyer it's really cool and this is the decoy detonator that we saw in was it deathly hallows part one i think it was yeah when they like let it all loose in the ministry and then they like snuck into um umbridge's office yeah, there's also comb a chameleon and this one's actually really special because eduardo and um, mirafora are actually on this because they knew that they'd never be in the movie as actors so they sneakily put themselves on like the packaging so this is actually eduardo in the blue wig and this is um mirafora and it's just so cute the set of postcards was 10 pounds and yeah i think it's pretty worth it so the next item i got is actually a proclamation magnet and it reminds me of Umbridge, but it's fine because she's funny, kind of. Everyone hates her. The actress did a very good job of making us hate her, so no hate to the actress, but hate to the character. So this one is actually Proclamation Educational Decree number 82, and it says all students will submit to questioning about suspected illicit activities. And this is when um, Umbridge starts to get suspicious about Harry having his little... Dumbledore's army. This little magnet was actually $3.95 and you can actually get a set of four of them I think for $12.95. So the next item is a note card and it is the 422nd Quidditch World Cup um, poster and it has like all the different countries on the front and then gold falling in the middle and it's really pretty. So the countries which participated in the World Cup were England, Luxembourg, USA, Bulgaria, India, Portugal, Uganda, Japan, Brazil, Scotland, Ireland, Spain, France, Argentina, Peru, and Australia, which is where I am right now. I hope Australia is better at Quidditch than they are at football because... Anyway, it's just a very nice note card that I won't be sending to anyone because it is going to live on one of my shelves. I don't know which one, but I will theme it very well. Hopefully. I was thinking of buying like the Quidditch balls set, like the replica box of balls that sounds really nasty but yeah I was gonna get that and then I could put this behind it so it's like a Quidditch themed section of my shelf. Why am I like this? As you know when you check out there's always items around the counter so it's like a last ditch effort of making you spend all your money which never works for me but when it comes to Harry Potter, it will always work. So I saw this behind the clock and I asked her how much it was and she said $12.95 so I caved in and I bought it. The marketing trick worked because I saw it and I bought it. It's like the same material and straps and everything as the platform 9 and 3 quarters one. It's very sturdy but this one has like a little Mina Lima tag on the side and it's just Harry Potter undesirable number one. The Daily Prophet is a shit newspaper, but it does look very nice. Lastly, um, Mina Lima are known to give out like free postcards at the front of their shop in like a little tray kind of thing. I took one and my mom took like four. Thanks mom, I have like a lot now. But these are like House of Mina Lima postcards and you can actually like send these. They like really good quality paper as well. 
So the last shop that I went to in London was on Charing Cross Street and it was called House of Spells. The downstairs is just all Harry Potter and it's pretty big and upstairs is um, Game of Thrones. I only had like a little bit of time so I didn't go up and waste time looking at stuff that I don't know about so yeah. So I actually visited this shop twice and on the first day I went, I went and got this time turner necklace which I lost the like backing to so I'll just show you the necklace it's really shiny it's exactly the same as the um, time turner earrings that I'm wearing here they're the same size it's a really cute necklace and it was $9.99 so I wear a lot of turtlenecks from Uniqlo and usually like when you wear a turtleneck there's like no neckline so I decided to get this because my um, cheap $2 yes style necklace broke and I didn't have any necklaces and this region was looking kind of like just black. So this next item is actually four items but in one set and I didn't know how I was going to bring them home but then I decided oh well screw it I'll just buy them and hope they don't break. And they are these like soda drinks I guess and it looks pretty standard now but when I do this they are like really glittery and they swirl and this one is basilisk blood and it just looks so cool they are by the potions cauldron in shambles york and this basilisk blood one is mixed fruits and it's a sugar-free potion this one is serpent's venom and it is lemonade which looks really delicious but i probably won't drink it this one is tears of wizard and it's a cream soda sugar-free potion and there's like ingredients on the back and everything let me spin it before I show you. The last one is Unicorn Essence. It's like a peachy pink with like purple glitter and it is tropical fruits. I really want to try them but I'm too scared to open them just in case like they spill on my shelf or something. But with these I'm probably just gonna put them on my potion shelves which is in progress and yeah hopefully build up a nice collection of potions. So the set of four was $14.99 or I believe you can get them for $4.99 or $4.50 or $4. There was just a 4 in there somewhere for like an individual one. That was a lot of fours. Anyway, this is the end of the London haul video. Um, I'm not quite sure which was my favorite item. It's probably between this Gryffindor jumper and this advanced potions making notebook because it's just beautiful. I love movie replicas so pretty so let me know down below what your favorite item was and if you've ever been to any of these three shops that i visited i really hope i can go back to london again soon and see all the harry potter stuff again thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye, bye.